That's cool. Yeah. Just out of buckets. Hey, sister. Can you let me out? Let's go. Let's go. She already knows. You already know, huh? Good afternoon, beautiful people. This, uh, this kitchen is quite noisy right now. There's all sorts of cooking going on. It's the end of the day. I think you're a good candidate. Have to get Brett, too. You guys want to go do something fun? Yeah, yes. dig potatoes. We're gonna dig our sweet potatoes. It's been frosting, the greens are starting to die. Usually you wanna get a little bit of frost, but not enough to, you know, turn everything to mush. Uh, because it'll kinda, you know, max out the sweetness of the sweet potatoes. Uh, I'm curious. This is this is one of my favorite, most favorite crops to dig is the sweet potatoes and potatoes too. Potatoes are really fun. It's just, it's digging for buried treasure. I think this one's gonna come with us until she uh, runs out of steam, but it's digging in the dirt. That's what she loves. What do you got going on in here? Uh, meatloaf, mashed potatoes, making butter, and squash. And pumpkins. squash. Pumpkins. pumpkins. So you guys ready to come dig? Yeah. All right, let's go dig some sweet potatoes. Okay, one of the things I am going to grab real quick, we'll do this first in this jungle of stuff over here. In a couple of those buckets, I threw some sweet potato slips in a bucket of dirt, and I wanted to see if we could grow sweet potatoes in buckets. So, Brett, you want to grab those for me? Munchie, you want to grab a bucket? That one we already did. I pulled that one up because I was curious. Oh yeah, I gotta get all those little sprouts and save them. We'll go stick all the little sprouts and teeny tiny little things in a safe place where they're not gonna freeze all winter. And hopefully I can use those undersized sweet potatoes uh, later, I like next like... year. Oh here, let me set the baby and the camera down. Apparently sweet potatoes are nosy neighbors. They take up whatever they want. So I did these uh, this spring, I just put them in there and I forgot about them. I left them right here by the hose. So anytime they looked kind of thirsty, I'd give them a drink. Basically, I did absolutely nothing. I planted some slips in a couple buckets. I did three buckets. Uh, we harvested one and got, I don't know, like maybe like two or three pounds of sweet potatoes, you know, a couple decent sized sweet potatoes. Nothing to write home about, but kind of cool for a bucket. But the only problem is the greens go absolutely insane. Yes. We're probably always going to have sweet potatoes right here next to the well house. So not a bad problem to have if we need, if we need slips. All right. All right, this is going to require two hands. Wow. Wow. Bug it, look, go. Wow. wow. There's a lot of sweet potatoes in there. Yeah, yeah. Wow. We got There's a, a bunch in there. Are they just in one bucket? That's all from one bucket? One bucket. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a lot. That's and a lot. They were growing out the bottom of the bucket, too. Were they? Okay. All right. So, out of one bucket, that's we got good. all that. That's a pretty good haul for just a bucket. What do you think about that? I think that's amazing. That's pretty cool, for huh? For a bucket. All right, Brett, you want to do the do the honors? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my oh wow, God. there's a big one. Holy moly. Wow, that's huge. That's a good size one. That's, that's a, good a good size, size. one. Shake it real good into the bucket. Okay, not real big. Yeah. Two good size ones. Too much. Here, dump it in the bucket. Okay, so one did a lot better than the others. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Just out of buckets. Yeah, we'll save we'll save all of these. You can use these for slips. I have to tell the story. What we did last year. We harvested all of our sweet potatoes oh. and we didn't have a place inside to store them, so it was like let's make a place inside the RV and we'll just store them over the winter. So I put a table out there. I set it on the couch, just a place out of, out of the way. I laid out all the sweet potatoes. I even, I even kept the little ones, like we kept everything. And then I forgot to turn the heat on in the trailer. Like I was gonna put like a little space heater out there just to keep the trailer from freezing. 
and all of them turned to mush. Yeah. Almost all of them. There, uh, there was a pile of them that I pulled out in a box because they were frozen and mushy. And they sat over here on the table disgustedly because I was just like, I can't even. I just wasted an entire season of sweet potatoes because I forgot to turn on a space heater. Well, I noticed like two of them, the tops weren't frozen. Like half, it was about, they were sweet potatoes about that big and maybe about that much was still, you know, hard. So what I did was I let them sit until the weather started warming up and I noticed that they were starting to want to put out slips. And so those were what I planted in these buckets was those, it's like three teeny tiny little pieces that were still still good. And that was what gave all this. So not a bad ending. Not a bad ending. It, it wasn't all bad. Yep. Hey, where are you going, sister? I'm going to the cow. Are you going to look at the cow? <laughs> Why are you yelling at the cow? Don't touch the fence, it's on. Yeah. Okay. She loves the cows. She loves the cows. Like she, she loved the neighbor's cows yeah, she, before we even got a cow. <laughs> she, anytime the neighbor's cows were in this field, she would just yell at the window anytime they were close. She loved them. And now we have a cow of our own and she's just ecstatic. She cows loves She loves cow time. Okay. Those of you who have been here with us, this is this year's bed. We only did one bed. I think I had a straggler that was over in that bed and it, it yielded maybe three or four good size ones. This one I'm curious. I have dug a few that are pretty big. Like we've yeah, got some pretty size. big ones. Yeah. What I'm hoping for is the ones that are the size of buggy like we got out of the bed that was down there last year. We'll see. But I don't know, uh, you know. We'll see. Maybe on that side because that side looks yeah. pretty good. There was a compost pile here last season. Yes. It and kind of ended right there. It, it was right there where the bigger side of the bed is. So I'm hoping that means we'll have bigger potatoes in that side. Let's get digging. I'm excited. All right. After a slight meltdown, because she wants to leave and go do stuff that we're not doing, she's in jail. But at <laughs> least, but at least she's outside, huh? At least you're outside. There's a good yeah. one. Oh, are they going deep? Trying to escape the bed, aren't they? Got a good sized potato. First try. Well, we'll get the greens out of the way and then we'll dig. Buggy, do you need to go in a house? All right, be right back. Whoa. Jeez. We need to show Dad There's that. one out of the bed right here. And it's a good sized one. It made it out of the bed? Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, you don't have to go that far out. Uh oh, did I break wow. it? Nope. Is there more? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no kidding. Okay, well then we will have to dig out, son. Dig out everywhere. Yeah, there's one right here. Wow. Whole cluster. Growing right underneath the bed. Yeah, and that means there's going to be a bunch out. These are going deep. They are going deep. This is so fun. This is so fun. This is my favorite crop to harvest. Mine too. Okay. okay. That means there's gonna. That means there's gonna be one right there. Man, just to start, there's a bunch. We're gonna need a bunch of much. I see buried treasure. Buried treasure. Buried treasure. Wow. That is a nice size one. I would agree with that. Just that nice. It's scratching that curiosity itch. <laughs> Alright, we're about halfway done with this bed. We've got a whole bucket. We've got the little stragglers. We've got a half a bucket. We uh we are doing great. Like I'm happy with this. This is a good yield. I mean That's sweet potatoes, fun. you just plant them and forget about them. Like they uh, they just do their thing. I've noticed some field mice damage, but that happens. All right, we're gonna keep on digging. Oh, sounds like bumpy and twisty. 
so weird looking. All right, whole ton of little stragglers. We'll save those, see if we can get slips from them next year. Got a bucket there, bucket there. There's a pile there. I'm pretty happy with that haul. I mean, there was no giant ones this year. Oh well. Something I do find interesting, the biggest potatoes were the ones that were outside of where the compost pile was. Those ones are a lighter color and they're really soft, whereas these ones were a lot harder and a lot darker red. Must be something to do with the, the minerals and stuff that's in the dirt down here versus where the compost pile was. But that was a blast. That was... Uh, well worth it. This year they will live in a, in a heated environment, you know, not hot, but they're not gonna freeze to death this year because uh, we would actually like to eat these. We, uh, we like sweet potatoes. Uh, honestly, if you've ever taken a sweet potato and cooked it the way you'd cook a regular potato, then you get this salty, savory thing. Mm. It's so good. You know, and a little bit sweet, it's good stuff. All right, what do you think? That's a lot of sweet potatoes. That is. I think, like, there's not as many, like, giant ones, but I think this is more than we got last year. Oh, yeah, it's totally more than we got. And these are, like, nice edible size. <laughs> so, look at this radish we found in the walkway. Wow. Is it good? Oh, it's spicy. Woody? Yeah. Not really. We had to cut that up and eat it with dinner. Oh, they're spicy. <laughs> <laughs> That's very spicy. I want to eat. That's a good uh, radish. Yeah, it is. Let me eat. All right, let me find the wheelbarrow. I'm going to go feed the pigs. What are you feeding them? The greens. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Because, <laughs> I mean, there's still some viable stuff on oh, there. Oh, yeah, totally. They'll love those. We know you can eat sweet potato greens, but yeah. we're not a big fan. Well, these are all older, too. You're supposed to eat the tender shoots. Yeah. And these are all The tender woody. shoots have all frozen to death. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and all that's left is the old woody stuff that just doesn't taste very good. Yeah. It's kind of similar to, like, a... It's like a really rough spinach. Yeah. Yeah. The the new shoots are more... Yeah, the new shoots like are delicious. Good, but, yeah. Rough spinach. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. <laughs> all right. All right. Cool. You know what? There is one more place we got to go dig. The original sweet potato we saved that lived in our window seal all winter long oh, yeah. Where'd you put him? Uh, it's over there in that bed we'll grab this last spot i kind of dug in here the other day this one we just stuck out here because we were tired of it being in the window nope just the nope, just the just original him. sweet potato I mean, he tried I I he tried mm -hmm. oh, yeah. oh, that's right he didn't have very long oh he really rooted yeah, that one sweet potato lived in our window all winter long. He gave us, he all, us the... all the slips. Yes. He was a very productive sweet potato. He was. He did great. Well, Brett, let's just plant him back. He can live out the rest of his life here. Until <laughs> he freezes. So, not a bad haul, huh? No, not at all. That's awesome. That's exciting. I'm going to grab the wheelbarrow. We're going to go feed the pigs all these greens. I pulled up the other day had beans. Oh, it's always a sad day when the garden is like officially done. She's like green. I don't know. All right. Well, that was fun. That's one of my favorite things to dig is the sweet potatoes. It's Brett and Corbin's favorite thing to dig, too. I don't know why it's so fun. It, I think it's just that whole buried treasure thing. It's, it's a lot of fun. Pigs are happy with their salad. 
think we're happy with the haul. That's that's a lot of sweet potatoes. I think next year I'm gonna plan where the sweet potato I'm gonna plan where the sweet potatoes go a little bit better. That way I can do like a bigger bed and really let them sprawl. When I planted them, it was just like, where am I gonna stick them? I guess they go in this little eight foot bed. So next year we will do more. We have the room, we can do better. All right, that's gonna do it for tonight. I'll catch you guys on the next one.